Okay, let's go to case three. Case three is the one which is very interesting. My propagate signal is one. That means my generate is zero and my kill is zero. In this case, we want our C out to be equal to C in. Let's first take a case where my C in would be equal to zero and see what's happening. So when my C in is equal to zero, my C in bar would be equal to one. And let's put all these values. So propagate signal is one. Generate is zero. Propagate bar would also be zero. And generate is zero. So this is zero. So this clearly shows that this both transistors are off. M1 and M2 both are off. So there is no part to pull down for my circuit. Now if you see here, my M4 transistor is on and my M3 transistor is also on. Both of them are on. So let's see what's happening when C in is equal to zero. I'm redrawing the circuit here. So this is my M4 and this is my M3. Both of them are on. I'm now removing the labels of the inputs. I'm just saying that both of them are on. One of them is a PMOS, other one is an NMOS. This is my output. This is VDD. And because CI bar is equal to one, this is also equal to VDD. If you observe it carefully, this is nothing but a transmission gate in its on state. Let's draw this transistor in transmission gate fashion. Let's translate this to that. So this is my M3 with its NMOS, which is on. VDD and this point, again VDD and this point, so they are in parallel. So this is my PMOS, which is on. The input is nothing but VDD because both of them have VDD as the inputs, correct? So what is going to be my output here, guys? Transmission gate will pass whatever is there at its input. So CI plus one bar is equal to VDD which tells me that ci plus one will be equal to zero. When c is equal to zero, you want your output to be equal to zero, which is achieved. So again, the functionality is achieved. The last case is the most interesting case. Let's quickly do that as well. When c is equal to one, that means ci bar would be equal to zero. So again, M3 and M4 are on. The other two would be off because that conditions are not changing. So we will draw the circuit. This is on. This PMOS is also on. Now this is VDD. And this is nothing but ground. And this is my CI plus one bar. This is nothing but a simple example of zero inverter. I am redrawing the circuit here. In zero inverter, this is my PMOS which is always on. In this case, this PMOS is this PMOS M4 and this is my input A, which again is one, correct? When I say zero inverter, I'm only saying it because I'm presuming that this M3 transistor is on. So this is M3. What will be my V out? If A is one, that means M3 is on at the same time M4 is on. And we discussed this when we discussed zero NMOS inverter that M4 will try to pull its output towards VDD whereas M3 will try to pull its output towards ground and when A is equal to 1 we want our output to be equal to 0 that means M3 should be made stronger than M4 here also if you see this point is being pulled by M4 towards VDD where the same point is pulled by M3 towards ground but what do we want CI plus 1 bar equal to we will want CI plus 1 equal to 1 so CI plus one bar should go to zero. That clearly says that M3 transistor should be stronger than M4. So you need to size your transistors. Sizing means W by L of M3 should be greater than W by L of M4. If you try to achieve this, then you will clearly in this case, because M3 is stronger, it will try to pull its output towards ground. And that is nothing but CI plus one bar will be equal to zero which also means that CI plus one will be equal to one. This is exactly what we were looking for. So we saw that all the three cases are satisfied by Manchester carry adder with a very simple straight diagram of four transistors and giving it the input as simple as generate and propagate signals. In the next clip, we will see a dynamic Manchester carry adder, which is exactly the same circuit and no additional circuits are added in that. So we'll see that and we'll go ahead and make a 4-bit dynamic Manchester carry adder as well. Hope you have followed. Stay tuned. Thank you and take care.